Hello, everyone, and welcome to another live unboxing. Hey, guys, it's Chris the Batman Statue Collector, and I am joined by my main man, Eric B., tonight. I had to show off a little bit of Bermejo that I have here. This is uh, the Lee Bermejo Batman from Prime One Studio. And tonight, lo and behold, we have a very, very quick, we were just talking before the show how quick these got here this time. Um, but this is the Lee Bermejo bonus edition of the Catwoman. Uh, this is, I believe, Eric's first ever one-third scale Catwoman, so I know that you're excited about that. Um, obviously, this was one that we, at least, at least I kind of like ho-hummed on a bit because I was like hoping for that hush Catwoman. Yeah. Uh, but now the one they tease is actually going to be quarter scale, so I'm not sure if they'll go there or not. Maybe. Uh, maybe they will, but in the meantime, I don't know if she's a forever piece in my collection, but the more I saw her, the more I liked her. I know that not everybody liked the... Um, like the the padding on her suit, but I still think she's great, and it kind of uh, kind of has that Adam Hughes feel for me. Um, how about you? Like, what sold you on this piece? Wel welcome to the show, by the way. Welcome, <laughs> yeah. hey everybody. Hi right, guys, uh, glad to be here. Um, for me, I've always liked the cover art, which it's uh, inspired from. Um, the padding I didn't like right away with the, the texture on the suit, but it's like, you know, it's grown on me. I figured it would be something different than just having like, you know, usually she's like just like in a you know glossy, boring uh, costume. So uh, yeah, I, I like looking at different, you know, textures and stuff. So I thought this would be a, a good addition. You know, you bring up a great point about it because every cat woman I've ever had, like they always look great, but they kind of get lost um, kind of in the shuffle a little bit because, you know, everybody else has bright, exciting colors. Um, Whereas Catwoman, she's just, you know, her suit is all all black and you really have to rely on the texturing uh, to get any sort of wow factor. Like I'm looking at my Arkham one and there's like so much texture on her, um, but it really it's that great face sculpt um, and the body pose. Whereas her, I think, again, it really relies on the face sculpt. It has to be great. But then, you know, I do think that the, the that, what, do you, what do you call it? That puffy material kind of, I don't yeah. know, I, I think it adds visual interest for sure. Well, that's what I was going to ask you if you still had the Arkham Cat one because somebody sent me one uh, to repair and I noticed, I never noticed it in photos, I guess, because I never really studied it that hard. But in person, it does have somewhat of a pattern on it. Um, it's it, I, I can't really describe what the pattern actually, it almost it looks like a like a hexagon type. Yeah, it's a pattern. It's got a really great texture. Also, it has like, I don't know if you can see it, probably it's too far away, but um, it's got all of like the little... Um, cat buckles that are on the sides. There's like these gray cat buckles and even on the boots. Um, so there's like a lot of like little shiny gray areas and stuff too. So I don't know. I, I just feel like they did a really good job on that Arkham. I still feel like the Arkham piece is still one of the best third scales that Prime One's done in terms of the female characters. I think I think she's really well done. Great portrait. And I really feel like they captured her, her look from the game. Yeah. Um, Whereas again, this one's definitely very, very different. But um, I did want to make note, we were talking before the show. Um, and again, thanks everybody for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, and anyway, shipping for us has been expensive here lately because we've paid for the express shipping. And then also we've paid the import fee on the stuff that we've been getting in. Like I got the import fee for Harley. Um, and what other, what other one did we get in recently? I can't remember. Um, which uh, one? Talon? Oh, Talon. Yeah, Talon. Um, you know, hundred dollars ish, uh, almost hundred dollars import fee, which sucks because that's a, that's another big, big expense. But with this one, somebody was asking earlier. Um, yeah, this is a um, a one a one boxer, uh, which is great. Um, yeah, it's like uh, just the box alone shows off the quilt texture. That's the word I was looking for earlier. Quilt. Thank you guys very much. Um, yeah, it really, really does. And um, so one box on this one, and this one we were talking about. It was sent to us by SF Express, which I've never heard of that ever. I've never heard of that company. But Eric said that he got his from UPS. I'm assuming mine was as well. I, I was not there for the delivery. Um, but no import fee as of yet. Now, I had that one time I did get one like weeks later. I got an envelope in the mail that said, oh, you owe this. Oh. So fingers crossed. Um, I hope not. So I, I had my Arkham City Harley delivered by UPS and same thing. No, no uh, custom fee and nothing in the mail ever since. So, OK, well, so hopefully fingers crossed, um, yeah. you know, we won't uh, we won't uh, have to worry about that. So that's great news. I'm hoping maybe si or, uh, that Prime One will continue to use this service if it means yeah. that we won't get the import fees. Uh, I'm assuming it feels like they go kind of like a case by case basis, like on what is going to be the cheapest depending on what carrier because they've used everybody they use dhl they use fedex yeah sf express again whatever that is um and so 
yeah, it's uh, it's really really great. Um, I also this this I was I was super excited. I don't know if you like already opened this or not, but I was super super excited. They nice. have the book. Um, so this this is something that they used to do um, back in the day. So uh, I'll show you guys a little bit closer. So they used. Do you remember these? I, I think they used to have a calendar. I don't know if I, if I remember seeing a book. Okay, so the, the the books were like when they when the Arkham series was really popular. So basically, it's kind of like a catalog. Like it just it it shows like all the statues. But I think they're so much fun to look at. Um, let me let me see. Like get to the DC section here. So like you know, it's just a fun kind of like a fun magazine but it's you know it's just ads for each one and i don't know it's just kind of neat to show what's kind of available what's up and coming um and so i i, I never really loved the calendars the calendars were cool but like i, I would much rather have these and so i'm really glad that prime one because it's been i feel like it's been years since they've had these um and just anyway just like a little catalog booklet and then also it uh, it did come with the um the instructions right here uh, we did get the uh, the deluxe version that has the extra portraits. Um, it shows inside of what the styrofoam looks like there. I have to go get those. I left them in the other room. <laughs> okay. Um, and then it does show the directions on how to put her together, which I will probably ignore because <laughs> I just try to figure stuff out. I probably should look, uh, look at it real quick here. Um, but again, yeah, this is the concept piece from Lee Bermejo. Really exciting news if you are a Lee Bermejo fan. He is coming uh, to a Boston Comic Con um, this summer, which is very, very exciting because he lives in Paris. We were talking again before the show that like I can't believe he's finally coming back to the United States. Um, so that's a really big deal uh, for him to be here. But anyway, all the all the step by steps here. Um, it also comes with the uh, the extra stands, so very similar to the other Catwoman they did. Um, so it's fun. It's a fun piece. So anyway, I'm excited to get, um, get this open and up on the box. I, I will show everybody the box here. Obviously you have the, the art of her, the actual photo of the statue. Uh, it does say bonus. That is a sticker that they put on there. Uh, we also have the photo, the back and the front, kind of a reddish color on the sides. Uh, again, you have the, the goggled look on this side. Uh, which is great because you can either have her backpack on or off, depending on the pose that you have. And then the, the precautions, the disclaimer and whatnot on this side. And uh, let's see. I think, Eric, I think you got a better number than me. Um, what do I have? I don't have the box in here. I think, was... I think yours was 47 maybe or something like that. What's your, anyway, what's my... Your... Like a look. My... Oh, no, mine is 63. Okay. Um, at, out of 300. So there was okay. 300 of this one. Yeah, you're right. I think mine was ended in 47. Yeah. I feel like that's what I think when you texted me last night, I think that's what you said. Um, so anyway, nice box. Again, it's not overly massive. It, it was heavy. I mean, it is a heavy box, but yeah, I was, I was really impressed. It's nice. <laughs> Again, anytime we get one box, it's nice. Yeah. Uh, for sure. So Anyway, again, I want to say, everybody, we have almost 100 people already in here tonight. Uh, again, really appreciate everybody being here. If you would do me a favor and hit the like button, uh, that helps us tremendously with this. Um, and, of course, you know, um, I, I'm sure Eric will have a review on his channel. We'll have a review uh, up uh, hopefully maybe tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but really excited to get this uh, opened up. Are you ready to go? Uh, give me one sec. Oh, you're not doing um, hello to the chat or anything like that? Oh, yeah, we could do that. We could, we could uh, try to say hello to everybody. Uh, let me get back here. Um, I'm just adjusting. So, okay. Yeah, no, that, that's okay. I'll, I'll stall a little bit. Uh, I'm, get... I'm ready. I just had to fix something on my uh, Okay. I'll just, say, I'll just go through real quick. Angel, we got Dennis. Um, hello to you, uh, Jartober. We got Rock City Arkham. Board Cube, one of two. We got Mike, as always, uh, with us tonight. We got Dylan in the house, as always. Matt T. Uh, Matt T. will be joining us tomorrow night uh, for Rogue's Gallery. Please join us. We have the uh, live auction show, guys. It's been a minute. Uh, so definitely join us for that. I'm um, really looking forward to that show. Um, we got Just Watching in the house. We got Golden Boy. Ryan is here. We got Fred. Uh, Danny is here. Superman. Uh, Christa, I love this name. Krista Cream Donuts. Donuts. Slim Boss. Uh, let's see. We got Dick Face in the house. Always like when uh, you show up, sir. Uh, let's see. We got Reclaimer. Uh, let's see if there's anybody else that I missed. We got Danny. 
uh, we got, I'm not sure how to say that. So I'm just going to call you cage. Um, Chris import fee in Europe is 20% outside Europe, Serbia, where I am from. It's 35% of the total value. Yikes. I am sorry. That is awful. That is awful. Uh, Ryan, I can't remember if I said hello to you. We got Leo in the house, Nate, Nance in the house saying hello. Uh, Devon in the house. We got Gino. We got Julia, our residential uh, Poison Ivy lover. I love it. Thanks for being here, Julia. Uh, we got DK in the house. Jonathan. Uh, oh, we just got a, a super chat. Uh, K Wiley, uh, 499 super chat. Can't stick around to watch live. Just popped in uh, to say that a as a new viewer, I've been having a great time watching through your backlog. Well, that's awesome, K. Really appreciate that. And I can't thank you enough. Uh, again, all the super chats go right back into the bat bunker. Um, I, I've started uh, paying my my construction guy this week, so the wallet goes empty really fast uh, when you're spending this kind of money. So again, uh, everything uh, never feel like you guys have to, but it is always appreciated very much, and it does roll into the bat bunker project. So again, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Um, and uh, again, I want to make sure that uh, if you haven't done so already too, make sure you, uh, after this video, check out All Things Art over on YouTube. Eric has a phenomenal channel. And so please do me a favor and support him if you haven't already um, haven't already subscribed. So anyway, uh, Jarktober says, I'm the king of Catwoman, been collecting for four decades. Well, that's awesome. So you probably have some really great classic Catwoman stuff. Probably some purple Catwoman as well. That's awesome. That's very, very cool. And I'm talking about vintage Catwoman with the purple and the, uh, and the uh, green. Really good stuff there. All right. So uh, are you ready? Are you good to go now? I am good to go. Okay, so uh, we'll start with the. Uh, actually, I'm going to start with the uh, the top of the box uh, with that the bonus. Okay. Yeah, I already sliced mine open, so I'll wait for you to catch up. Okay. This is really cool. So this is um, this is really cool. So this is an art print. Um, it is actually really signed by Bermejo, which is really cool. And this is basically the concept. So this is what I'm assuming that he drew up. Um, and, um, prime one kind of went off of it. Obviously, you know, if you look at the face portraits, uh, you know, it is inspired. I think what prime one did is even more beautiful than these, I think for sure. I don't, I don't love that look right there. Yeah. Um, and, and they, I don't think they use this look at all, um, with the goggles. So they used her unmasked portrait, but it kind of gives you an idea. And then of course, uh, the main statue itself does look like that. So it's obviously, you know, his inspired art. Um, the artists have come on the channel before and they talk about, you know, what, what the process is like. So they'll send them something like this and they'll prime one will say if they like it or if, you know, something needs to be tweaked. Um, but it's really cool with the bonus edition. Um, that you have the Libra Mayo signature. I don't, I don't think I would ever do it. It'll stay in the box probably for me. Uh, how about you, Eric? Uh, most likely, but I do really like the art print. And I like that they included like the extra portraits. Like it's kind of like a, you know, like a preliminary kind of type sketch drawing. Yeah. yeah. It's like, it's just a concept, you know, it's a concept drawing that they, they went off of. And I feel like, I mean, they definitely captured the look of the statue for sure. Even, even down to the cat, yeah. um, which is great. And, the, and that architecture, that Gotham architecture down below. Um, so anyway, that is the bonus item, and uh, let's get going on. The, let's find the base, I guess. Yeah, the base. Uh, so step one does mention that her um, her foot, the high heel, is fragile, so be careful. Okay, let me get my bat, bat knife here. Think it's on the lower tray. What's that? You think it's on the lower tray? Oh, so yeah, I already uh, have put mine in half uh so they did similar to what they did on the uh detective 1000 so the top of the building of the base is actually uh protruding through the second layer oh that's cool the top layer of the styrofoam yeah that's pretty neat engineering they definitely have a lot of this down sorry you have to wait on me with this Not too heavy. All right. That's a big base. Ooh, there's that prime one smell. <laughs> 
Toxic, toxic paint. What do you think of the color? Uh, I like it. I think it looks better in person. I do too. It's actually got a lot more like brown pop, pop to it. I, I've got my light on it, but uh, yeah, the architecture is really nice. Um, you have some really nice detail, obviously some really great weathering on it, which looks great. Uh, some veining in the, uh, the roof line or concrete. But yeah, but yeah, the brown really pops a lot more in person. The, um, and it's one thing when I was looking at the, um, the, the sketch, you know, the artwork that came with um, within the, uh, the statue. Uh, I didn't realize that the, the base looks a little bit more of like a lighter gray in person. I agree. I think it does. I mean, I wonder if they used a lot of like dark lighting. Yeah, which I like that better. I thought it was going to be like very muted looking. It's not too bad. So you like it? You like the lighter color better? Yeah, they, you know, Prime One always tends to use like those very dark, like even I think it was, I don't have it anymore, but the Bermejo Joker, I think it was like more of like a darker gray, maybe. Well, even like that, like you can see the difference there. Yeah. But they use that really dark yep, gray. Exactly. So yeah, this one definitely has a lighter tone, which is nice. It definitely is going to pop more. And I think the reason why they did it lighter is because it'll show off this detail a lot better. Yeah. Because it's really ornate, you know, with the way they did it. Um, but that looks really good, I think. Man, did you did you see the bat logo here? Yeah, I did. They um, always do that on their bases. Did you see the cat? The what? There's a cat? Look at that. That I did not see. I'm little, looking at your screen instead of my statue. Little cat, yeah, a little cat Easter egg there, I think. That's cool. Uh, and then, of course, the bat logo. Uh, this is the Arkham logo, which is funny. <laughs> but that's the Arkham logo, which I love. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a fun base. I'm really digging it. I like it. All right, so that was step step one, is just to get the base up there. And now, of course, we need to get uh, Catwoman out. And it looks like we just have to be careful, like you said, careful with the heel. Um, yeah, I'm assuming it's both heels, right? I would assume, yeah. All right. Well, let's see if I can find her. I need to cut that piece open. Okay. Man, I love Prime One paint. It's a little stronger than some of the other ones. So, um, one thing that doesn't get picked up on, you know, the internet, you know, on camera, uh, your, your box cutting is very loud. Your, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the tur there's like a, <laughs> there's like a hint of turquoise on her suit, like within the black, like the highlighted. It's like a, like a greenish, like a light greenish color almost. Oh my gosh, it's got a shimmer. Yeah. Wow, yeah. it does. It's almost like You're like an emerald. Yeah, that's really like an emerald green, maybe or something. Oh. That's really neat. I don't know if anybody can you guys see that? Like it shimmers. So yeah, it's got this. I think the camera's picking it up kind of good. Wow. That is really cool. Yeah, the texturing looks really good. It has kind of a wet look to it. Yeah, it's like kind of like a like a fish. Yeah. Like yeah. that like like a fish scales. Yeah. That's really neat. Yeah, that yeah, none of the photos look like that at all. Like you couldn't like that the camera didn't pick it up at all. But that really does make it pop. I think it's really cool the way that captures the the, the light hits it. And it's just on the um, that the puffy areas, like the puffier part of the suit. You can probably see it on mine. I have a lighter, brighter, brighter camera. Here, let me uh, let me don't, get you big there. Don't don't mind where my thumb is right now. <laughs> Dan says, "Like a fish." Yeah, it is like a fish. <laughs> Dan the man. Hope you're feeling great, my friend. Today, feeling better today. All right. I have no idea which way she goes on the base. I think I don't either. But yeah, you can really, you can really see. 
um, that that shine, that shimmer. Again, it's, it doesn't pick up on camera as much, but there's like this kind of a bluish tinge to it. It's really neat. It's really sh shimmery. But yeah, looks really great. So let's see if we can figure out how to put this in correctly. All right. So far, so good. So is it? Oh, there's a magnet on the base, but there's no key. Oh yeah, yeah. There is another key, but that's for the cat. So. Yeah, that's interesting. But it, that, I've I've never seen a magnet in the base like that. I, I didn't even know there was one. Is there? Yeah, it, lift it up. You can see it. There's, it's round. Oh. You can actually see it underneath the foot. I'm afraid to pull her out now. I want to break the. Oh, all right, fair enough. Well, there's. Yeah, the back foot. I'll check it later. Uh, the back foot uh, does not have a key. It just has a magnet. So there's a round magnet on the bottom of her foot, and then you can see a little round magnet through the base, basically. But that that is magnetized right here on the back foot, so it's really cool. That's a really neat way they did it. Oh, I'm going to like this. I can tell already. This is really cool so far. It's just a different pose, too. Like I don't think I have anything quite like this pose. Because everything else is pretty, I mean, maybe Talon, I guess, maybe Talon, but I like this a lot so far. This is cool. What do you think so far? Uh, so far, I'm liking it, yeah. I'm very happy with the colors, yeah. Yeah, the colors are neat. Okay, Cat is next, it looks like. Here, kitty, kitty. This is probably the only thing I don't like on the statue, that they made the cat orange. Say that again. The, the one thing I think I don't like about this piece is that they made the cat orange and it just it kind of looks like Garfield to me. Well, I do know some guy that is an excellent painter. I already thought about painting it black. I was going to say, I, I would imagine so. So here is the, the cat right here. Um, it looks really like, so the light, the light does not do this justice because I've got the light on it. I don't know if I can... I don't know if it'll if it'll make it look any better, but the eyes are like really shiny. They look like real eyes. Yeah. Big cat. Yeah, it's really big. Let me see here. Let me show everybody yours here. Now the eyes are just fantastic. Yeah, it's big. It's a really big cat. I believe this is my first third scale cat. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. And he goes, or she, I'm not sure, but she goes uh, right there on the side. Sits right there. Very, very cool. That's not so bad in person. I think I like it. Yeah, I think it's, I, I, actually, I kind of like the color contrast because I feel like it kind of goes with the brown a little bit. I feel like I think I feel like a black cat would like get lost on it. I think that's what they were going for. They were trying to add like a little splash of color, but yeah, I think that I think that's why they did it. Um, again, the texture is really good in person, um, and it's just like the, the, the camera's never going to do it justice. But it, that blue sheen is really cool. Yeah, the it, that, yeah, it's really it's just so cool because everywhere you turn her, it shimmers. Yeah, that is really neat. I, I love the texture on the boots. That looks really good. Like it looks slick and thin, like like that real thin fabric. This is a nice sculpt. How is the um the leather suit on the Arkham Catwoman? Does does it look like like that textured leather where it's like on the smoother parts? I th I think this looks better. Okay. This looks more like actual clothing to me. Yeah, that's, that's what I noticed. There's like a, you know, like a hint of texture within the, even like the the shot, uh, not the shinier, but the the smoother parts of the the costume. Uh, I mean, the texture is great. It's just such a flat color um, on the Arkham. I mean, it's definitely more black. Like this is more of kind of like like this bluish black gray kind of look. Yeah. But it's not gray. But I mean, it just that that shimmer. Like I said, I mean, to me, the best way to describe it is fish scales. It just it really has this incredible effect in person. 
there, I feel like my camera kind of does a good job there with that a little bit to kind of show that it's kind of like it's like a bluish lavender or something. I don't know. It's really neat. All right, let's see. What do we got next? We've got some, looks like some chimney areas, little chimney parts. Okay. Um, There's three of them or more? I got three? four. Oh, you got four? I'm missing one. Uh, there's one kind of like a stove top or stove pipe. I see it. Right there. And then these other pieces are kind of these tan. They're, the, the paint on them is really good. These might be, I think these are probably plastic. Um, yeah, it feels like it. Yeah. But it's uh, really well painted. It's got this really nice kind of weathering. Like it's uh, got, you know, it's had smoke and soot coming out of it. Um, they're all they're all um, specific shapes, so they should key in pretty easily. I don't know where it goes. Yeah, they're they're real easy to figure out because they're all different shapes. I say that. <laughs> no, I'm not sure. Does the stove pop? Does, does the stove go in the middle? That that kindergarten class paid off where I took that shape. That's right. That's those shape lessons. Yeah, the uh the silver uh stove top one goes in the middle. Are you are you frozen or are you just taking a really long time to figure that out? All right, I think he's frozen, so he usually comes back within 30 seconds. Um, I guess we will move on to step number seven. For everybody, let me check the chat to make sure I'm still live. So I'm not monitoring the chat tonight. Sorry. Frozen. Guys. All right, you were frozen. <laughs> I was about to say, I don't know if you're uh, frozen or if you're just taking a really long time to figure out what you're doing there. Yeah, it wouldn't be right if I didn't freeze at least once. You sure, you weren't, you weren't pretending to freeze, right? Trying just to just buy extra time to figure that out. That's right. All right. <laughs> no, I was actually, I was actually trying to freeze there. <laughs> I can't. You still didn't get. I'm having trouble getting one in here. This this front tall one. Well, it's like you said, each one has a different shape on the bottom. Yeah. But this front. So, um, I don't know, which way are you looking at her? All right. So you're looking face forward. The taller one goes to the right of the chimney stack. If you know what? I have I had it in backwards. If you're looking straight at her. Yeah, I had it in backwards. There we go. Okay, gee, many Christmas. <laughs> a freeze and a fumble. Here we go. Yeah, just like little little chimney elements there. Pretty simple. It looks good. All right, let's see what is next on the chart. Looks like we've got uh, one of the arm swap outs with the uh, whip. We can look for that. So, okay, the whip handle separate. Yeah. And the whip is posed. Oh, wow. You could, you could, I grabbed the wrong arm, but you could really see the green on the other arm. Yeah. I was just going to say, even on this, like it really, it really does a nice job. 
and I, I, I want to be clear, like it's not, it's, I mean, like when you look at it, it doesn't look green, but, or blue, but it just has a shimmer with a subtle color. So, I mean, it definitely looks black when you're looking at it, but the way they painted it, it's just really, really impressive. I, I'm impressed. Let's see if I can. Yeah, I feel like you could see the sheen pretty well on that. Hey, Lewis, welcome to the show. Eric, welcome to the show. Jonathan, just watching. Thank you guys again for being here, everybody. So, and I'll show you the uh, the whip. Uh, the whip is um, it looks like real, like a real whip. Um, but it is posed like you can't bend it or anything. It is it is a posed, you know, it's stiff. Um, but it really is impressive looking. Looks really good. And then that that uh, comes down and around. I'll try to figure that out here. that little notch holds it in place back behind yeah that's what it does that was smart nice. yeah nice magnet. Magnet. that little crack what that little crack in the back is what holds it in place oh you put the whole whip on and get up to that yeah All right, so uh, we're to the point now where we've got a couple of different portraits. And depending on if you have this portrait is when you would use a certain hand. Yeah, it's just, man, you can really see the, that green color. You said there's something in the back that holds the whip? Yeah, you see that little crack? Yeah. Just put it right through that crack. It I might just holds it the wrong way then. It just holds it. Is yours looping over? Yeah. Yeah, it goes it. out away from the statue. Let me see the right back down, real quick. Right down by the cat. Let me, yeah, I know. Oh. And then there is a there's a little tiny crack right up here that just if you it, oh, okay. it's, it kind of holds it in place. Okay, yeah, it looked like it almost went the other way. All right. Yeah, you, I mean you can have it out, but there's I mean there's no key in the bottom of this or anything, but that little crack kind of holds it there in place. I think um you know, because it's a plastic material, mine is sticking out a little bit more, so it's got to like settle over time to get uh, to Yeah, it could be. It's not as close to the base as yours. So there might be subtle differences there. And then uh, I want to show you again the Again, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it's got, yeah, it's, it's black, but it's got this great green sheen to it, this bluish sheen. So if you have a bright light on it, you could really notice it. But uh, I don't know. I just think it's, it's so neat that they did it like that. I know I'm talking on and on about it, guys. I apologize. I think it's cool. I've never seen, I've never seen anybody do it quite like this. Got the great claws on her um, face. Now you you don't want to put that arm on until you get the heads in. Oh, okay. So there's two heads that you can use for the uh, the um, this particular hand. So one is the winking one, and one is the uh, the regular portrait um, where she's just looking off to the side. Um, so I'm going to get those out next. Okay, you just going for all of them? I'm just going to go those two first. Okay. Uh, yeah, these look good. I was worried about how they were going to look in hand. Uh, she looks very pretty. Yeah, really, really nice. Yeah, wow. Yeah, that regular portrait. Sorry, Eric. I didn't... Well, I'll just show them while I have this here. So uh, I just had a little bit of an incident on mine. 
What happened? I'm going to tell you so you don't do the same thing. Well, maybe it's supposed to do it. Let me. Which? Oh, you have the winking. All right. So I have this one. Hold on just a second. Let me. Uh, let me get you back. So I just grabbed that one. And you see how there's. Um, let me put it down. Sorry, my camera's higher than I am. So you see how there's a belt buckle strap? Yep. And then see. Oh, did it break off? See how there used to be one on that side? <laughs> yeah. There it, it is. But it, um, it, it literally, like, he's back in, like, to where, like, they had it glued in, and it just popped right off, like, so I just got to glue it back in. It's not, it's not even broken. It's just, like, popped out. Let me show you what he's talking about. So, like, see, mine's got that little strap right there that hangs down. So, uh, be, yeah, don't grab it like I did. And, At first, I thought it was like magnetized because it just came off so easily. It's just it, it literally like like you know when they did the manufacturing process, putting this together, like it just. Oh, I just realized out. my my thing's broken off. Look at the goggle. Holy crap! Yeah. Oh no. I just I just realized that it's missing. Let me go check the box. See if it fell off. It must have fallen off. All right. So, in other words, be careful with your Catwoman mask, people. It, the goggles feel pretty strong. I don't want to test it though. Yeah, right. here it is. Well, that sucks. Hopefully, there's nothing else broken. Yeah, hopefully not. Hmm. I wonder how easy that would be. Well. Anyway, that's what it's supposed to look like with <laughs> the other, the is other it, goggle. Uh, is it noticeable? Well, I mean, it's, you know, it's that. So it's like if I, I'm just trying to figure out, like, it's such a narrow place. It's just got like this little nub sticking out. So I don't know if I'll be able to glue it. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'll try to glue it, but I might have to ask for a replacement. I'm not sure. Mm. Not positive. Let me uh, let me put this portrait in. That's terrible. Sorry to see that. Yeah. There's the winking. Let me uh, put this other hand in also. So, so that fits in right there. Oh, so that's that's so let's not do that head yet. Oh, okay, I, I was just after yours broke, I had to go check the rest of yeah. it. Um, but yeah, this one still has that same buckle, too. So, be careful. okay, so be careful a couple places. I'm not sure I love this, the winking one. Yeah, this is the one I'll I will use, I think. Yeah, I think I like this one. Just a little bit better on on there. The, the though, winking one doesn't have those buckles. I was like, "Oh, I'm missing both of them." <laughs> oh, that's weird that it doesn't have it. Oh, because she's got it untied. Yeah. That's yeah, why cuz that one's got the strapped up. strapped on there. But uh I don't know, the winky one's okay. I just don't know if I like it as much as the other. It looks good. I like it. That's yeah, okay. Uh, the, the the skin looks really nice. I, one, I do uh, think I, I do think I like this one better. I think which one's from the comic book cover? The winking one, right? Uh, I think so. It might be. This is looking really nice. Okay, let, let's. Uh, we can go to the other two. Other two portraits. Okay. 
So these two are really, this is really pretty. This, I like this a lot more than I thought I would. Um, this unmasked portrait is gorgeous. Yeah, it looks good. It's beautiful. I didn't, didn't, I didn't think I'd like this one, but I think it's really nice. Hair looks good. So, um, I think was I think this was the bonus, right? Or was it the R print was the bonus? This is the deluxe. Okay. And yeah. the bonus was the art print. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, the same thing. I didn't think it was going to look good in person. Um, but yeah, she's looking great. Yeah, I think they did a really she looks really nice. So this one and the other one, which is uh, this is the the goggled portrait right here. This this is to be used with the other arm. But I think this looks really nice too because you can see her eyes through the through the goggles. So I, I like that. Just again, be careful of this. It's got that strap hanging down, so be careful. Yep. Uh, really nice paint application on her lips. Really nice and shiny. But it's really nice. I like that her, her you see how her ears are pinned? I on, all the, which one? on all the cows, it's got like a pin that holds it, like with the leather. It's neat. Mm, okay, yeah, yeah. Little silver pins, it's kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, so I guess she can, um, I don't know. Yeah, those would be like buttons. She can unbutton them and hide the ears, I guess, if she wanted yeah. to. I don't know which one I like more. They all look really good. They all do look good. Um, we also have um, the stolen jewels. So this is the bag uh, with the jewels inside. And this is the alternative swap out. Uh, with the other arm, obviously. So the one with her holding the goggles like she has now, that can be changed out. Um, and this could be used for any of them, however. Wow, this is a big bag. Yeah, it's really big. Trying to get Here, oh, I'm an idiot. No, wait, where? Okay, a magnet in there. Let's go on this one. want to push oh it has a pin on it too yeah there's a pin and a magnet so it's there we go okay yeah. okay so i recommend putting the hand in the arm and then putting it on yeah I'm a, this is making me nervous That's a nice look, too. Again, guys, this is a this is a broken. <laughs> I've got a, a broken little piece here, so it is missing. Yeah, I agree. Definitely put the hand on first. Yeah, put the hand on first, and then it works. Um, if we spin it around, you can see that she's got the bag. I, I, uh, still, I'm hearing some noises that I'm not liking. And just be careful. Just wiggle it in slowly. So many jokes, so little time. <laughs> I'm 
But the bag definitely has a little bit more storytelling elements to it. I'm afraid to let go of the bag because I feel like it's going to break the handle. Yeah, just be careful. I can't get the angle. Yeah, she looks beautiful. Let me uh, show you guys while Eric's working on that. Let me uh, show you. Uh, so we got, again, we got the mass portrait here, which looks great. And let me, I'm going to show you the unmasked. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Did you figure right. it out? Man, this portrait is stunning. That handle still makes me nervous, like it's going to snap. Though. Yeah, because it's just, it's, there's no other key. Okay, once it, yeah. I mean, it's plastic, so like it slowly adjusted itself down to her back. So yeah. it's resting on her back now. Yeah. Oh, that portrait. Oops, almost broke the whip. Yeah, that. I don't know. I really like it. I don't know if I would display it this way, but man, I just feel like that portrait is beautiful. Kind of that, kind of that classic Audrey Hepburn type of look. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But man, it just, it's, I don't know. It's just something, something really fun about that one. I'm really glad I got that. I'm really surprised how much I like it. Me too. I was almost like to the point where I was like, oh, I don't care, really care about that one. Yeah, I was the same. Uh, we've got a $5 super chat here uh, from Jonathan. Thank you very much. Joined late, but if you don't didn't know, uh, you now have portraits of Bermejo's girlfriend in your displays. He showed it on Instagram. Bermejo is the best. Oh, so he, he modeled it off of his girlfriend. That's really cool. Good for him. She's stunning. Yeah, that unmasked portrait, that is that might be the winner right here. It's beautiful. Uh, Jonathan, thank you again for the super chat. Um, again, all of the super chats do go toward the Bat Bunker um, and the expense of that. So thank you guys for uh, helping that become a reality. Every little bit helps. So thank you guys again. I really appreciate it. Well, I'm really glad I got her. She's really a stunner. Really, really nice. Again, the base it just has a nice balance of color because, again, she's got so much black going on, but then there's this nice light gray with the bricks. And then again, you have the cat back here, which is fun. Um, I don't, the, 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 I see only one downfall for this whole statue so far is that it's kind of like you have to display it kind of at an angle. Mm -hmm. Um, like if you wanted it 90 degree angle, like if you wanted it straight against your shelf, it would look like this. So you have to have it kind of like this. I mean, you have to have it kind of at an angle a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's one thing I was even like, you know, waiting for it to ship, trying to decide which way to angle it. Yeah. Because like I said, if you, if you go from the front, you really don't see the jewels on the back or anything else going on. And then if you aim it from the side, you really don't see the front, of, like, uh, you know, the front of her. I mean, still what, do you think her. Of, what do you think of the jewels as opposed to the uh, hold on to the goggles? I haven't tried that yet. I was I'm so nervous putting that bag on. I'm afraid to touch it again. But yeah, yeah, let me try that. All right. I kind of feel like I, I'm probably going to use the bag just because it adds more color to it. But yeah. we'll see. Uh, while Eric's doing that, it also has. Um, it comes with three. Uh, extra stands if you get the deluxe um, and it's got the, the cat woman again concept by Lee Bermejo and uh, so if you put the you know you could just have it in front of the statue again it's just like a little display stand some people like these some people don't but uh, it's really nice just to have the option let me show you guys a little closer while Eric's working on that So this is the goggle portrait, which is nice. It's definitely Catwoman. I think I still like the goggles up one better. 
which is this one. Again, this one's broken, unfortunately. But, I mean, look at that. Gosh, that's beautiful. For me, it'll, it'll, either, it'll either be this one or the Unmasked, I think. What about you, Eric? Um, man, they're all so good. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to do one of the ones with the goggles up, I would assume. I don't know. They're all so good. Well, and that's the thing, too, is that the great thing about this is you can change it whenever you want. If that's what you were asking, I was so focused trying to take the bag off. I yeah, yeah, that's what I was asking, like just which one you like the best or which one you think you'll probably display it mostly. Um, I think I like the goggle. I'm going to switch it out one more time with the goggle up. Look, uh, I'm not touching that bag for the rest of the night because I'm, I'm hearing noises and uh, I don't want to break it. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah, I think that's that. I think this is the way I'm going to go most of the time. Again, this is the the broken one, guys. So I do apologize. Oh, so you can do it that way. Yeah, you can have the goggles up with with the other portrait. I mean, with with you could do any of the portraits with the bag. Oh wow, that the the fingers grab the uh, goggles like perfectly. Yeah, it's perfectly and it's magnetized, so it really is nice. I don't know which do you like that look better or do you like the or the bag better? Oh, man. Um I think I, I think I like the bag. Let me see yours. Yeah, I didn't realize you could do both. I figured once her hand was up. Yeah, you could do you could do any of the portraits with like with this pose. Yeah, I'll probably do the bag. But I like the bag because it adds that little bit of pop of color. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm probably going the bag. A little bit more storytelling going on. Exactly. Yeah, that too. Which is nice. But I don't know. I really do like the her grasping the goggles too, because it's it's kind of iconic. Again, that Adam Hughes type of look, and obviously Bermejo here as well. I'm trying to think which one the cover art is. I keep forgetting. I don't know. It might be this one. I don't know. But I I think this is my favorite. I think again, I feel like this might be a this actually might be the winner for me. But I don't know if I would display it as much with without the. I didn't power. um. I didn't take out the headstands yet. How are the headstands? They uh, yeah, they're, or they feel like they're gonna wobble over. No, they've got a really nice. It's kind of a weird shape. Um, oh, almost looks but, like a, a smokestack or something like that. Yeah, it's kind of it kind of has the motif of the of the rest of the base, which is nice. Um, but it's got a really nice weight to it. Um, again, it's got that Catwoman logo on the bottom uh, with Romeo, so that's nice. And you do get three of these. Uh, if you buy, and again, this is the deluxe version. I, I don't think you get any if you buy the regular. Uh, again, here is the uh, the mass portrait, which is nice. Again, you can see her eyes through the through the red. Again, really nice, luscious lips, which looks great. And then, uh, where did I put the other portrait? Oh, she's back here. I feel like this is my, I think this is my least favorite. It looks really good. And in, in the, I'm going to turn the light off on this because I feel like the light's not helping. You know, it is also like you have the same statue. The Arkham City Harley has that winking portrait. So it's like, do I want all my statues winking at me or That's, switch it yeah. up a little bit? I mean, it's supposed to be fun and cute. Um, but I just, I just, I feel like it maybe dampens her beauty a little bit with that eye. I don't know. I feel like that's the winner right there that you have. The one where she's just looking over? Yeah. I think that's my favorite, but I'm going to have to play around with it a little bit. Let me switch. I'm going to switch the blinking one here. Yeah, I want to see how it looks with her holding the goggles, but not winking. So, again, there's... What do you guys what do you guys think in the uh, in the chat about the winking? What do you guys think? Do you guys have a favorite? Uh, Mike says I don't like the wink. Um, Kevin says it looks like an Adam Hughes head sculpt. That's I agree. I think that was the inspiration for sure. Definitely has that Adam Hughes look, especially you know like these classic ones, um, especially this one. I feel like that very much has that Adam Hughes look. Turn the light back on here so you guys can maybe see it a little bit better. 
Uh, JJ likes the unmask. Julian says, uh, I like it, but not as much as the unmasked. Oh, I mean, they're all really good. Uh, Golden Boy says, no wink. Ryan says, winking is the worst one. Wink is my least favorite. Matt says, I like the wink. So with, with the wink, you get the mouth open as well. Yeah, so you, you get like, you see the tongue and all that stuff. Yeah, this one right here, you get a little bit of teeth. Uh, whereas this one is just lips. And this one is also... It's pretty much what they did with the Arkham City Harley. The same thing. Like the winking had the mouth open. and Yeah, it's very similar uh, thought process there. Yeah, and like... Um, it says wings are wings are difficult. They are. I mean, that's the thing is they, they can look kind of odd. I mean, I, I feel like like when you when I'm just looking at it right now, it looks better than it does on camera. Um, I feel like the camera kind of makes it distorted a little bit. Um, but I don't know. I still think I like this one and uh, the the regular my my broken one here. I'm gonna see if I can. There is another little hole where the. It looks like there is a little notch where the corner went. Yeah, there's definitely like a little key area. If I can put a little bit of glue in that, hopefully it'll be okay. Yeah, I can't tell from you. You'll have to send me a picture later. Yeah, there's like, I don't, let me see if you can see. Can you see this little notch? E yes that little it's red right there yeah yeah so that there's there's a little little these is this is plastic but that it, there is a, like a little piece that sticks out that fits in that notch so if i can glue that so that's in, like the same with my buckle the same scenario it has like a little notch like where it was glued into place yeah, yeah. so maybe maybe we, we would be okay there Maybe it doesn't hurt to ask for a new one i mean i'm sure they can just send you a new portrait without sending the whole thing back yeah I'll, I'll contact them just to see. Yeah, I'd rather have one that's not broken, but it's not too, too damaged. Uh, Brad says, use Flex Seal. <laughs> uh, yeah, Kevin says, battle damage head sculpt. Yeah, I've got the only one that's battle damage. Man, she's been <laughs> through hell and back, and somebody ripped her goggle right off. Uh, Batman Collector in the house says, I would go with the non-winking non looking back portrait. Okay. I think, again, I feel like that... That is my favorite one. <clears throat> I think a lot of people like that one. People aren't aren't as much of a fan of the winking one. I'll take that one off and I'm gonna put uh, the unmasked portrait again back on. Yeah, I really like this. I do too. Yeah, again, much more than I was expecting. I kind of thought it was a throwaway throwaway head, but. It's really a stunner. <clears throat> it really shows off her face. The eyes are painted nicely. No uh, googly eyes. Yeah, super glossy, which is really nice. Yeah, I think I think all of these portraits are really quite stunning. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know if like. <clears throat> Like if, if you had somebody come in the back cave and said, Hey, who is this supposed to be? Would they know it's Catwoman if it was unmasked? Like, I don't know. Eh, I think so. You might be able to. Like I said, I think I would probably rotate these in and out, probably. Uh Harley in a wink character, Catwoman isn't usually. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing is, I mean, she's real sarcastic and I mean she might wink, but I don't know. Uh, Julian says the eye color is great also. Yeah, it's this really great kind of, I don't know, what would you say, like a golden color? On what, the cat? No, yeah, uh, on no, her on eye. the, her, her eyes. Yeah, it's like that hazel gold. Yeah, really, really pretty. Like a, like a hazel brown. Yeah, yeah I, I don't I don't think I've ever had a statue with that color eye color before. But it really, it really grabs your attention. It's got a really nice gloss to it. It's really, really pretty. I think I think this is a winner, Eric. Yeah, I'm really happy. I was um, I wasn't 100 sold on what to expect when it you know showed up, but uh, I'm super happy I picked it up. Just awesome, uh, Eric. Also, if you're just joining us, uh, Eric also got in the uh, George Jimenez Joker, um, <laughs> which 
again, his, his, his account still shows it hasn't shipped yet, but he magically got it uh, a day after the Catwoman. I might so get mine says the same thing. So I don't know if mine will show up tomorrow. I have no idea. Uh, that would be something. Maybe we'll have to do another double live here real soon. I don't know. I don't know if Eric can wait that long. Um, I'm giving you till tomorrow. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Well, we'll check and see. That was but what a beautiful statue. I'm I'm so glad to get this. And again, I was I was one of those people that was on the holdout waiting for the the hush one. But I think this is really neat. It's definitely something different with the pose. I mean, I don't have anything like this in my collection with this type of pose. So I think it definitely adds some nice visual interest to the collection. It's got a low ES 300. It's on low stock alert right now. Yeah, that's really crazy. Uh, man, you saw that ES of 100 on that uh, Jimenez Joker suit. Yeah. Which is absolutely insane. I think that's going to be a sought after piece after a while. A lot of people are surprised they're even making it with an ES of 100, but man, I'm thankful. It's a big piece. <clears throat> it's pretty surprising, but man. It's it's expensive, but it's a big piece. So oh. Yeah, it really is. It's I think it's gonna be a lot bigger than people think because it really flares out. Um yeah. which is which is crazy. It's like um tw twenty two but... inches deep and like twenty four inches wide, and you know, it's 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 big. Big solid piece. I'm glad I'm getting a new bat cave. Jeez. <laughs> Wouldn't have any room for it. Um, but anyway, congratulations on your Catwoman, Eric. Congratulations on your Joker. Again, hopefully I'll have mine uh, this week, hopefully. Um, I know uh, Thursday, or excuse me, Wednesday, guys, just to remind everybody that we are doing Rogues Gallery Live. So that's, I mean, sorry, Wednesday night, tomorrow night, uh, depending on your watch, when you're watching it, April 19th, um, it will be our live auction show. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. And of course, um, you know, maybe we'll have this live unboxing. We'll see uh, for the Joker as well. Uh, stay tuned, Eric. I'm assuming you're going to review this for your channel. Um, yeah, I'm probably just going to do an up close look at it. I was actually doing a unboxing of the unboxing off to the side. I was recording on my camera doing like a behind the scenes of the unboxing. So I might upload something like that. So no, that's cool. That's cool. Give it a different um, uh, perspective angle. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so I'll probably film uh, the review tonight or tomorrow at some point. So uh, definitely stay tuned to the channel for that. Again, please do me a favor and check out All Things Art. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, Eric is a phenomenal, um, not only a phenomenal painter, um, but also he's able to repair statues. He repaired my uh, Bermejo, my Batman Dam, um, which I didn't think would be able to be prepared or, um, repaired. And it's just a great statue. So Obviously, these go together, um, you know, with the, the Bermejo Joker as well. So this is my third piece in that line. Um, so it's going to be awesome. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to group them together, I think, in my new display. Um, I don't really like Bermejo's uh, Harley, so I don't think I would probably get her. But, you know, never say never. I didn't think I'd get this one either. <laughs> but, uh, you know, time will tell. So anyway, I want to thank Eric for joining me tonight. This was awesome. Uh, congratulations again on your piece. Same to you. Thanks for having me. That's right. And we'll see you tomorrow for Rogue's Gallery uh, for again for our auction show, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, so it'll be awesome. So anyway, thanks for everybody for joining us tonight. Again, please like the video if you haven't done so. And I can't thank you enough. I want to thank Prime One for producing incredible statues because to me, still, they're the best of the best. I love this uh, third scale line that they do. Um, and uh, we're only getting started. So it's really exciting. So thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you in the back cave. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thanks. Thanks for watching.